Today we're going to be talking about eSign. I actually took a minute to look up eSign. eSign has actually been around since 2000. I wonder what I used to think in 2000 about that. This website that you can like order some movies from and they'll send them to you in the mail and then when you're done watching you send them back and there's no late fees right but I don't understand why anybody would want to do that because I can just go down to Blockbuster and rent a movie whenever I want and I don't have to wait for it to come in the mail it's never gonna work I don't know about you but auto-tune is the way of the future so you mean to tell me a computer company is going to start making Walkmans that don't even take a CD? It's never going to work. Oh my gosh, man, MySpace is where it is at. Nobody's ever going to beat them. So check it, I was on the phone talking to my boys, yelling, what's up? And then I got home, got with the wife, we went out, got jiggy with it, and came back, word. I hear they're making a movie out of that kid's book, uh, Harry Potter. <sighs> Nobody's gonna go watch it. So let me get this right. You wanna electronically sign something, or e-sign it, rather than have the people come and sign it. It's never gonna work. Well, let's not dwell on the past. Let's get to that MLS moment. <laughs> Okay, so we're logged into the MLS and we're going to go to Form Simplicity. I'm going to go to Menu and then straight down the center column right here where it says Application, second one down says Form Simplicity. So we're going to go into Form Simplicity. It's going to bring us to the page where our transactions are. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on the transaction that we want to deal with with the e-sign. So I'm going to click on this transaction. And here I am, I'm in the transaction now and I can see my forms for the transaction here. I need to select one, at least one of the forms that I need them to sign. So I'm going to check the box right here and then I'm going to click e-sign. Um, it's going to bring up this window here and have your parties listed in here if you already have them set up. If you don't, don't worry, just like me, I don't have them set up already. You'll get the opportunity to set them up through the process. So I'm just going to click create a new session. This is important to note that you have to have the pop-up blocker turned off for this window to open up because see I'm still here where it's saying it's automatically opening in a new tab and if it doesn't open your pop-up blocker is probably stopping that from happening. Here we are we're on the screen that we're going to use to set up the e-signature so the first thing that you need to notice is that you are going to go right down the line here so there's a next button right here that won't let you go unless you fill out the required fields on this screen the only field that's required is the session title and email subject, but there are many fields on this screen that will fit your needs. For instance, email message, copy other emails, and all of the choices on the right-hand side. Once you've at least filled out the session title and email subject, click Next. Okay, so now we're on the Invite Signers page. The next step is going to be to add signers for me. If you already had set up some signers though, they would be showing up in this area here. But in my case, I didn't have them set up already. So I'm gonna click Add Signer right here. It's gonna open up a window and the only fields that are required here are first name, last name, and email address. However, you can use the authentication dropdown to increase the security of your signing by adding a password, SMS, or KBA. You can also use it in conjunction with the signing in person so that if you want to have them there with you, but you want them to also be able to put in a password while they're signing electronically. So what you do is you start the session for signing, um, you hand them the device, they put in their password, um, they sign it, then they hand the device back to you and that's what the signing in person is for. You can also use these signer notes and this will let you uh, write a private note to a specific signer. This will be in addition to any notes that you put into the document itself. And then of course document review. If you check document review, what happens here is it forces them to scroll through the entire document before it will allow them to sign. So I'm just going to fill it in.
Now that I have both of them filled in, if I'd like to sign in a different order, I can change the sequence here. I can also edit it here. So if I need to go back and change something, I can click on Edit Signer and it will bring me back to that page so I can change it. Once you've completed this area, click Next. Okay, so here we are on Session Documents. This pop-up window right here will appear if one of the documents has a template associated with them. Almost all of the documents have a template associated with them. So uh, this is here so that we don't have to go through and drag and drop where the person's supposed to sign everywhere on the document if it's already been set up for us. So what we do is we just come to the drop down and we put our person where we want them to be. And I can keep adding. But I'm good right now. If you don't have anyone else, just leave the form blank in this area and click Next. And then Yes. You can also add files by clicking Add Files, and you can add them from your local device, Dropbox, OneDrive, or Box. You can also delete files here. You would check the box and then click Delete. But we're not going to do that right now, obviously. And we're going to move on to the next step, so click Next. All right, and now we are on Add Signing Locations, and this is the area that you can add more signing locations if they weren't added when you uh, set them up with the template. If I need to add some more signing locations, I can just scroll to the location that I need to add that, and in this case, we have a signing location here and here. Um, perhaps I would like to add a form field so I can just drag that onto the document wherever I need that to be. Um, I can change it to a different person. There's the signer's name right here. In the drop down, I can change it to the other signer, and I can add another field for the other signer right there. Okay? Um, over on the right hand side, we also have additional markup tools that are available to you. If you add markup tools to the document, once you move on to the next step, you cannot remove those markups. So just be aware that when you're adding them here, you can't remove them further along in the process. Okay. Once you've got everything the way you want it, you just click Next to move on to the next step. Okay, so this step is your final review page and it gives you a chance to just look over the entire document to make sure that you've got everything exactly the way you want it before we move to the final step. So once you've reviewed the document and you got everything the way you want it, you're just going to click Next. From here you'll see the email that you'll be sending out to your customers. You can change your email by typing into the box or you can use any one of the tools here if you find them necessary to add photographs, bold, italics, anything like that. And then we're just going to click finish. Once you click finish it's going to send this out. You will automatically be taken to the session status page. From here I can see where the email was sent. I can click on actions here if I would like to make adjustments to the email address. For instance if I type the email address in wrong and nobody got anything I can change that here. I can also view the documents right here. To access this page later, I would go to the transaction, I would go to eSign Sessions, and there's my eSign session right there. I can click right here. It's going to bring me right to that same page. I can edit the session here if I choose. I can change the email addresses they were sent to, and I can view the documents right here. Okay, so this concludes today's video on eSign and form simplicity. Remember, if you need to get some additional support on this, don't expect everybody to get it just right off of the one video. You can go right into your transaction screen and go right up here to where it says help. Once you click on help, it's going to give you a chance to hit contact us. Under the contact us screen, you've got the knowledge articles here from Form Simplicity. You also get phone support. And there's their phone number right there, 407-587-1450. You can open up a case with them or you can chat online. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Hey.